Y254. Imagine. Thank you for sticking to Y254 TV. I hope you're having a lovely evening. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Right before we went on a break, we were talking about the value of investing in our health and our wellness. And joining me live in studio is Monica Mushemi and Dr. Jared Odawa, who are both in the health and wellness field. And right before we went on a break, we were addressing uh, negative body image that causes people to seek alternative surgeries and uh, maybe some supplements that may cause negative impact to their health later on in life. So I want you to go to our social media platforms, write me a comment, ask me a question if you have any and we will sample that later on in the show. So uh, we were talking about the health aspect, mm -hmm. now let's go deeper into the wellness aspect because negative body image and all that is part of the wellness. I, it's because of the, the, your mental state, your mm -hmm. psychological state, all those things. And this is partly because of the media mm -hmm. influence. And like Dr. Jared said right before we went on a break, the, the campaign about Black is Beautiful has mm. really caused a positive star in even the younger ladies right now. If, so, I, if I can pick a point on you, yes. do you know the funny part is that uh, when it comes to the word of women, mm. the slim one wants to be fat. The fat one <laughs> wants True. to be slim. <laughs> Dr. Jared knows us. <laughs> And the funny part, the one who is brown oh, takes a black page <laughs> and <laughs> adds on his brown <laughs> skin. <laughs> but I wanted to give a point. Mm. They are just victims of the media. Mm. In French, slim is beauty. So they advertise, Ukiangalia Vogue magazine, they advertise beauty is a slim lady. But when you go to the Mexican people, they love women with big weight. Mm. So they will advertise fat, big women as beautiful. Now, now you see, depending on people like the negative. Mm. If you're big, you look for the advert, the slims are beautiful. Mm. So you want to slim. So it's also with the media <laughs> that we choose. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Now really let's uh, on that note, the, the one you want to pick, yeah. and, and the, the one you, you want. It's yeah. because yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I have been told to I look French. nice like yes, this way, yes, yes. I'll do no effort to lose weight. You, you'll want to maintain. I would want to maintain that there. way. And it's if also, I've been told, honest, it's yeah, the it isn't. <laughs> it is the, yes, because yes. there was a period uh, when slim was considered beautiful. Yes. Then we went to the thick women, and now it's a bit of a mix. It's a mix. Let's talk about weight control, Monica, because as ladies, the way Dr. Jared has called us yes. out. Mm. <laughs> that was so loud. And it is, it is weight control has given us a lot of problems. Eh? Yeah. As ladies, Mara, you, we don't we want complain. to eat. We don't want to eat. We go. In fact, today I was talking to a lady, but she has lost weight eh? because she has been doing intermittent fasting, and I know she's listening to me. <laughs> yeah. You're she has, she has lost <laughs> her weight so well because of intermittent fasting but during this intermittent fasting what is it you're missing in your meals what is it you're putting in your meal mm -hmm. so what i would say is that even as much as we want to lose your weight our weight we need to have it a balance because again you don't want to lose your weight and you you know you start looking you have saggy i don't know some muscles have you know they are flabby yes. you want to lose it in a way that it looks all well it's healthy it is well healthy it is healthy some, as well some conditions such as bulimia yes. anorexia can yes, come yes. about where you don't want to eat you don't want to because eat. you want mm. to lose weight mm. or you eat and you force yourself mm. to throw up yes so why would you advise people to avoid this or what is the benefit of them co regulating in a healthy manner for them to feel good about themselves uh, one one it is it is going to be short-lived you know you'll do it for a month you see you have lost weight and now to maintain that trend of you continuously keeping that fit so i would rather you you do exercises engage in a, an exercise regime make it you are upon yourself that you'll be doing exercises you know either in the morning in the evening so that again what you're eating there's no point of you do exercise then you come and eat a heap full of ugali or rice on pizza a whole one of it By and you know as ladies you know we just love that. And by this age, anybody above 35, by the way, I hope you're not taking sodas because that is direct sugar. In fact, a bottle of soda, it is 13 spoons of sugar, the Coke we that take. That is wild. And that 
coke that is 13 spoons of sugar, that is converted into, into fat. What are we saying? So there's no need of, you know, you do intermittent fasting, then in the evening Drink you a take soda. a soda. Those are 13 cup, uh, spoons of sugar. So we have to be very, very careful on what we are eating. Uh, if you're going to, uh, to take a, a drink, mm -hmm. then it has to be water. It has to be juice that you have made, you know, a fresh juice. We may not have the fresh juice because, again, the economy does not allow us that. Then take the water because water, even if we are saying it has toxins, at least it is not as bad as taking 13 spoons of sugar with the, with, the, with the Coke or with the Fanta we want to eat. Again, we want to eat the pizza. You want to eat the burger. You want to, all those things are full of toxins. By the end of the, the time you're 40, you're already being diagnosed with cancer. And what does that then lead to? We are going to have a lifespan of, by 41, we cannot work because we are ever in hospitals. So weight control then becomes very, very important as soon as, you know, as early as now when we are still very young. Ah, uh, young in quote that we mm -hmm. have not gotten to the age of our parents where, where, you know, you cannot tell my mom now to start losing weight. I mean, what activities will she start doing? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> probably with all this. around she, the house. Uh, yeah, a few times. but I can be able to control my weight as early as now because maybe I'll do activities. I'll check on what I'm eating. I have a balance in diet, activities, and whatever else I will do. If I have a supplement that is going to help me control my weight, then I'll take it. And if I have a supplement that will help me not, you know, not to eat too much, then I'll take it. But then it's not everybody, again, who is able to do this. Because remember, we are saying the economic that we are in, with the diseases that are arising, and with the taxes that we are getting, we're not going to afford, you know, even a healthier life. So it is now that we start living these healthier habits, so that in future, then our bodies are, you know, they are healthy. They are we are able than... even to live at the age of 70, when we still have our brains that are functioning well mm -hmm. because of they have not developed you know other things like dementia you know yeah. what of uh, and weight is very bad because when you have a uh, heavy weight or when you are obese you are exposed to other things you are exposed to having hypertension you are exposed to having diabetes you are exposed to having you know a lot of lipids in your body you are exposed even to having you know you are you are there are so many diseases there are so many risks conditions exactly that so can many risks you. so it is very very important to to check your weight as early as you, you are able to. Mm. Yes. And I like the way you've said it, as early as now, because mm. every day, today is the youngest you will ever exactly. be. Mm. So if you start becoming healthy and incorporating the lifestyle today, mm. then you will live longer than if you started next week or next month. Because people tend to, especially with the working out, dieting, mm. they're like, no, I'll start next week. I'll start on Monday. Yeah. I'll start at the beginning of next month. And it's like that because I know there's someone at home who mm. made a commitment to go to the gym this year mm. as a New Year's resolution and has never seen the door of the gym. Sheryl, yes. every morning I do a post on my status. It, today is, like today I said, today is the 5th of October 2023. Have you done your well? And somebody told, gosh, what do you started saying this in January? I have never done. Think about yeah, and that's so, because now we, and we are is, 10 you know, months into the imagine, year and we have imagine, a few months left and people are and still you're not reading proactive. that every day. At least I make an effort. I remind you, do your wellness assessment. Why? Mm. Because I don't want you to find me in the hospital. And I'm telling you, you have stage 4 HIV. You have stage, eight, stage 4 cancer. So it is time to do it. It is time now, to lose today. weight. It is time to, to control what you're eating. Mm. It is time to go for wellness. And it in alignment with you know, that, it's <laughs> with <laughs> now, <laughs> immediately. I'm trying to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> to laugh. <laughs> if your statement is true, <laughs> I can go political and award <laughs> our <laughs> honorable president a Nobel Prize <laughs> because he decided to give us a wheelbarrow symbol <laughs> without an engine. <laughs> I didn't vote for him, but I'm hoping next election he will put an let engine on the wheelbarrow. No, let us not get into politics. Yes, because because it is going you, to, no, Darren, allow me. You will be fit. Allow this me to. It will make everybody fit. Allow me to talk about the media yes. in relation to that. Because mm. we touched on the media we are exposed to. Mm. Yes. There's different cultures and mm. different advertisers yes. based on the market, on the target audience they yes. have. What is the value of looking at the, the right media? Because someone who's yeah. following Monica mm, mm. is probably healthy and yeah. well. <laughs> but someone who's following someone mm, else mm. who posts junk food and mm. they just... There's this thing called mukbangs mm. where people just sit and yeah. eat. Mm -hmm. 
if that is the content I follow mm -hmm. versus someone who follows someone who goes to the gym, mm -hmm. what is the difference in our, our mental state mm -hmm. and our health mm -hmm. physically? Uh, but I'm trying to tell you, selling madness is very easier than selling uh, Stuff sober that mind. <laughs> in other words, uh, we have a social media. Mm -hmm. You know, mainstream media, you have to audit content. You have to benchmark materials. But we have a full platform of the internet where you can go wild as you wish. Therefore, uh, to, uh, to the dark side, it is uh, the generation we are living, we are exposed, we are overexposed mm. to more risk. Mm. What we can just tell, that's why we are here for this show, mm. to bring soberness in the chaos in the public, because we can give them sober material, sober content mm. for them to live healthy. Otherwise, that's where we are here, and this is the value of this show, to educate them so that they cannot rely on actually celebrities who are the, do their plastic for a day, they post, they trend, and they are living healthy behind the scene, but they are projecting an unhealthy lifestyle. So we can be able to save because the public. Because it's agenda yeah. setting. Sure, mm. sure. And yeah. that means that they're selling you what they want yeah, you to exactly. buy. Yeah. Sure, sure. If I want you to become slim today, mm. I will put mm. models who are skinny mm. Sure, sure. Mm. all over the billboards. Sure, sure. If I want you to gain weight, mm. we will You'll do the opposite. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that people need to be aware of. The times change. Mm -hmm. What will be considered beautiful today is not going to be considered beautiful next month. Mm. So you have to find beauty within yourself. You have to check yourself within your heart and your soul, how are you feeling? If you don't feel okay, actively work on it. Mm -hmm. So that brings me to the mental space of mm -hmm. everything because in the space that we are in, the media, the econo economic times, mm -hmm. the pressure of your friends and whatnot, mm -hmm. everything impacts our mental health. And especially the youth are deeply affected because they lose their identity they have no guidance of what they're supposed to do mm -hmm. and they figure it out blindly. Sure, sure. In the recent years, it's become worse and worse yeah. and we get so many people being suicidal, being violent. Mm -hmm. So Monica, in your experience, how can you advise people to take care of their mental state th such that they do not get to a depressive state or worse? Uh, I will first say that they need to open up. Regardless of the situation you find yourself in, whether are you are female, you're male, you're married, you're not married, you must open up the issues that are hurting yourself. Because remember, it is more up to you how you feel. Because I will only see the outward, but how you feel inside it is you. If you don't tell me, I'll not know. If you don't tell the person seated to you, they will not know. And the only the other thing we'll know is that Monica took a rope and she hung herself because I have been keeping things, you know, piling things in myself. Is it finances? I keep it. Is it stress? I keep it. Is it my husband beat me? I keep it. I don't share it with anybody else. And so it is very, very important to open up the issues that are frustrating you, the issues that you're going through. Get somebody, get a confidant, share them out with somebody, and that way you get help. Otherwise, taking a rope, is not going to sort the issues. You leave your family with problems. You leave your children with problems. I mean, it's you, you create more problems yes. mm. than you solve yes. with that. Mm. And uh, Jared, uh, based on your line of work with the forensic psychiatry, sometimes you deal with people who have mental issues in the prison systems and in uh, incarceration systems. So in, in your experience, what do you think gets people to that level where they commit a crime because of the, the mental state they were in? Uh, let me build it pole pole and uh, maybe give uh, a statement to our artists. Uh. Our artists have a bigger platform to influence the public. Mm -hmm. Look at the dance or music. They have sell the sensual. They have sell this image of fat or thin lady to be beautiful. We can give them a word to readjust their production of their songs. They can entertain us without victimizing a society. And uh, that's a message to, to our artists. They can readjust that because it affects people mentally. They want to keep up with the Johnnies and the, and, the, and the Peters because they have been projected using our artists and their music. Uh, therefore, from that side, we can issue a word to, 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 to our artists. Uh, number two, I can issue a word also to, 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 to men. Uh, when it comes to body image, the way he was saying, maybe, uh, maybe the, the wife has added weight. 
and then she lacks the moral support and the emotional support from the husband. That's why they go to the extreme to, 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 to do surgery, to, 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 to change their facial. Because uh, look at this, if she has added weight and you're picking, you've picked uh, a second lady who is thinner, is to say thin is beautiful. Mm. You understand? So it affects, it affects her esteem. Her, her esteem. Mm. If now she's thin and you go and pick a fat lady, then it means fat is beautiful. <laughs> she starts adding weight the other side. And I don't know if I can <laughs> ask this, but I have never understood why okay. men will go for the complete <laughs> opposite. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I'm wishing and you wonder who know. is your type. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wishing a word They to move with a the wave. <laughs> they move with a wave. Yes, Monica. Because a man will have a, a slim lady mm -hmm. go for someone who's thicker. Yes, yes. I don't know if it's because what you miss is what you go for. No, no, I do it's, not understand. It's because of the, of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of our artist. If he goes to a club right now, <laughs> check the screen. Who are the beautiful lady being projected? Mm -hmm. The dance or music, the hip hop music. They project the sensual of either, of the either extreme. So they are the ones who influence that in the psychic of the public. Mm. And therefore, I can just issue a word, support the family. Because I want to pick a point on family medicine yes. before I pick a point on mental health. Let me pick a, a good point in terms of mental health for women. You know, women can suffer from, uh, uh, from depression after birth. Mm. And uh, this is normally qu quite a challenge because of expectation. Uh, because uh, the looks you had mm. as a girl is no longer there. And the expectations changes. Maybe you had dreams, but they change. Now the dream is to sire a child and bring them up. Mm -hmm. And now you are from rubbishing your nails into diapers now, mm -hmm. in a fraction of, two, of, of a well, few months. Eh? Rubbishing your nails, first of all. <laughs> Wherever. Jared is yeah, very personal, yes, I can tell I'm you. Trying, I'm trying to say. <laughs> there I, is an agenda. I, I'm trying to say. Okay, but uh, basically, let me say this. Mm -hmm. You are out from doing high heels into mm. getting boots to build a house for you your family. Changed. You're Things like have changed. Things have changed. You're a new you person. You have, you have to fit into this role. Yeah. Mm. You're not doing high heels anymore. You are now at the construction site trying to get your house done. Mm. You know, you're a different person. You're no longer the former you. And uh, that's also yeah. with the levels, different levels mm. of life. Yes, yes. Because it gets to a point... People are stressed with the exams. Yes, yes. When you finish the exam, you go to the workplace mm -hmm. and yes, you're stressed yes. out. Yes, yes, you yes. get a family. Mm. So with every, every level, level, there's a new they level. Are called, there's they're called, that quote. They're called transition. Mm. And this is where stress comes. Uh, anxiety, depression, they hit much on transition. When you have, look at the uptake of drugs. Eh? It's normally this wow. transition of teenagers mm. to manhood. You want to find yourself. You get into, uh, you know, I realize also bang is so cheap, eh? It's normally not yes. a luxury. It's a drug that is cheap and has a bigger effect. Eh? And it's, it's economical and it's available. Everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. So, mm. so basically, they want to go high with the, within budget. <laughs> so <laughs> they have to. to so go if it's for accessible bank. and cheap, yes. they go for that. They to go deal for that. The, the stress of the transition. And then now look at this. Now our artists take these as a vibe. You will see every show they take somebody with a puff of, of bang, so it's a, it's a cool thing. But uh, it's just something worth 50 to 100 bob that ruins our destiny. It is not, you know, it's not something even when you calculate in terms of monetary value. Its effect, long term, is so destructive. Mm -hmm. So I want to speak on transition. When you are facing transitions in life, you are now becoming a mother. You are now becoming a, a widow or a widower. It happens. Yes. yes, in the phases of life. Mm -hmm. When you are going through transition, look and for support structure that is my statement he yes. said mm. share up mm. look for support good. structure yeah yes and yes. you see that was a point that most people are not very attentive about mm. yes, yes. because they'll just assume no i'm stressed because there's this child mm. but it's a transition, transition and you have to understand this stage yes, you're yes, in. Yes, yes. now let's talk about that's that's with the tra the stress and transition affecting wellness yes, yes yes uh monica tell us how it will affect your health your physical health when you're stressed out and when you're anxious and you're depressed, how does it affect your body? Uh, you, you see, uh, the body is made up in a way that it is able to, you know, we have hormones that, uh, you know, that regulate our body functions. When you have stress, then that means the hormones that are supposed to, you know, to regulate your body function, then they are stressed up and they are not able to, you are not able to function as you're supposed to. I give an example of men. Yes, yes. Once men are stressed up, the the man himself d does not work anymore. <laughs> and then it seems you have talked about men. Uh, I've, I've, I've and heard. when <laughs> yes, and yes. when we are stressed up, mm. 
ourselves. It's the same. It changes even the way we look. You know, you start developing pimples, rashes on your face. Yeah. You start eat overeating. You add a lot of weight because of the stress. Yes. And what does that happen? It affects your health. Yes. So the stress, the anxiety, you, that even going to an extra uh, to an extent of taking drugs, then it affects your wellness. It affects your health and your productivity again. So your health and life expectancy again it is reduced because of the the, the, the that inability to transit well sure. from one situation to, to the another. next. And I've been talking to to people who are in college from four livers and college. They like taking alcohol because you can walk into the supermarket and you just take anything. Research has shown that once you have taken alcohol during youth the brain damage that happens that time it is not reversible it is damage that will not be reversed and no wonder we have men who are not now producing because they damaged their brain of course we have said that the brain is the control of every other organ and so when your brain is damaged at the age of you know the teenage the teenage when between age of 18 and 25 and this is because you know you go to university i give you money i give you pocket money you see fred is buying you know those thoughts i don't know what they are called mm. and you drink them the damage to the brain at that time is so detrimental that it is not the, the same effect if my dad is drinking because this is the time the brain is developing and once you damage it then you damage any other vital organ in your body and mm. it is Therefore, I'm talking to the youth. Let me just talk to the youth at this time. Yes. That. Don't walk to the supermarket and just take an alcohol because it is going to ruin your brain. Once your brain is ruined, then you are not able even to form a, a career because you not go to the next level of the, the next transition. You not go to the college. Mm -hmm. After you've not gone to the college, then you don't have a career. Mm -hmm. You cannot work. And when we assess the youth, how many are working? How many do, do have you know, jobs that you can say they are relying on. They are very few. Why? Yeah. Because they started drinking when they were very young, the brain is damaged. Now they are not even productive. So, so it in is some very way the brain becomes stunted. Exactly. Uh, it is damaged. I, I, I've, heard, I've heard you are trying to be very polite on, women, <laughs> on, on men. <laughs> uh, yeah, sexual dysfunction Ex is very serious on <laughs> men. Just say it as it is. Yes. And the actually expound on that. Just say with the things Let me say that somebody is watching us in a club. Mm. It's not that men love the club setting. It's exactly. not the most comfortable place. Mm. Uh, the smell is not the best smell, mm. not the best perfume. If they are escaping the duty at home. Mm. They have to drink up their subui. Uh, and uh, I can say the sexual dysfunction mm -hmm. because now the, the, the marriage is now they are suffering be be in between uh, the syllables of do not touch me one on one mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and I'm tired 2.5 mm -hmm. because they can't function. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say that uh, there is a cure for them mm -hmm. and that's why we are here to empower to them. Empower. Yes. You don't have to run and live now in, in a club. Or go to the village the every weekend. Change, I know. Change, <laughs> change. So I was at a, we were at a place yes. the other day and they were saying when mm -hmm. you're stressed at home and your wife is yeah. Mocha, Kote, yeah. and yeah. you look for every single fellowship and meeting yeah. and you're there yeah. wondering yeah. which one is next yeah. can yeah. I go to a bible study I can I meet you. this I person sure, sure. so it's because they're avoiding that they and then they take that. things that impact yes, yes, their yes. physical health but we are here to support, to support. them it affects yes. their mental health it affects their performance and we are here for them to help and I which? hope you're listening actually yes, yes. at home I hope you're paying attention and you're aware that there are people who are made to help you. Literally, we are here to help you and support you in your journey of being healthy and yes. well. And so if there are those who already have sexual dysfunction, yes, yes. that is erectile dysfunction, ED, if you are already in that situation, we have supplements that are reversing that. Mm -hmm. You can always reach out, speak it out, go to the doctor, just say that, no, nowadays, I don't. Mm. I was now, <laughs> we, 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 since we'll give our numbers <laughs> at the end of the show, <laughs> uh, I wanted to pick a mm. point uh, mm. on the same. Uh, escapism is not the solution. The solution. Mm. You can't run, you can't outrun yourself. It reaches a point you have to stand and face it. And uh, we are encouraging you to be bold enough to take a stand and face the situation mm. and get the help you need. Get and the that help is why you need. we are here to give you the support you need. Thank you. Yes, yes. I really like our guests today because they are very pre they are literally here for you. Mm. And uh, in regards to that, I know people run away from so many things. Drugs, they go to the they'll either 
but maybe I have a body dysmorphia where you mm. feel like I do not look good and I want to look better. Mm. I will not go to the gym, but I'd rather go drink something to mm -hmm. avoid that. Uh, let me, or let me, I, I want to forget a point uh, on just saving our women, the emotional torture. Sometimes adding weight is a hormonal issue. Yes. It has nothing to do with you, you and your diet. Mm. And so you have to understand, these are some of the things that you that have to understand. Pain, yes. Because even with the hormones change mm. uh, through the You don't the, have to be guilty. Some, 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 some women are very guilty about themselves. They yeah. are guilty they are fat. They are guilty they are eating uh, a minimum of three plates minus one plus one. You know, <laughs> I, I, I'm saying you don't have to. No, it's true. understand the hormonal aspect and yeah. therefore mm. you know the hormonal therapy program exactly. it is there mm. if you know you're struggling with the hormonal issue you're obese mm. e yes reach out reach don't out feel guilty seek help. Yeah, and seek help yeah. and you know sometimes as long as you're healthy mm. it doesn't matter if you're eating too much yes. or people presume you're doing too much yes. if you are healthy and you are well mm. prioritize yourself sure, sure. so let me also talk about sleep mm. because there's also mm -hmm. the essence of sleeping and getting enough rest mm -hmm. for you to function at your most optimum state. Mm -hmm. sure, sure. Tell us how many hours as adults, because I'm sure it changes through the years mm -hmm. with the kids, mm -hmm. you get to teenagers and then the adults. How many hours are we supposed to rest for us to make sure that we are functioning at our very best every single day? At least uh, the studies have shown if you sleep eight hours, you'll be able to function optimally during the, your next day at least eight hours mm. yes uh, she has said at least mm. because i know there is someone at home <laughs> who is probably they're functioning on three hours of rest and they tell like, you but i've been living in, in nairobi mm. my friend <laughs> you're waking up at 4 a.m to catch up with traffic yeah. Yeah. and you have to queue at the at the bus stations you know in the evening and you get you home, at, home at 4 a you know at, at 10 a, 10 p.m so the only time you have to sleep is five hours. Mm. And then the following day when you go to work, then you cannot, you're not productive because you didn't rest enough. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes, and that that's why people are also tired. You there, there, yeah. a, 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 there is this program, therapy program of taking a nap, intermittent mm. naps mm. in the course of the day. Because trusting me, trust me, uh, in Nairobi, getting an eight hour you, sleep, you, unless you take a holiday ooh, to Naivasha. It's or tricky. To home, <laughs> it's very tricky. And even when people go to Naivasha, they <laughs> go to <for Shere. laughs> They're not going to sleep. Uh, unless uh, you, you learn this program, you, know, you can ah. take a nap in between work mm. for mm. just during lunch hour when you've taken uh, some meals, you can take 15 minutes nap. There's a program that can aid you yeah. to tune your system like that one. Because and I, uh, I also feel like, unfortunately, mm -hmm. Most if places do not even <laughs> facilitate nothing. The they cut you mm -hmm. air. There's, a, there's this video that was going around yeah. of a lady who went to work and she was saying, and I napped and napped and napped. <laughs> <laughs> People posted and they were like, this is the, where, I wa where are you working? We need to come there. Sure, sure. So we probably need to talk to companies as well, figure out yeah. how to sensitize them and educate them on the value of that increasing nap time, time yes, for yes. the productivity because i'm aware uh, there's a large company globally mm. that has that they have a room people go rest so that they're productive now in alignment with the the diet mm -hmm. our overall wealth mm -hmm. jared talk about um the importance of being v having positive self image mm -hmm. and your body image mm -hmm. what is the value of that and also having your spiritual life mm -hmm. in check such that it balances all round. Uh, uh, let me just, because you've mentioned the aspect of uh, uh, you, our spiritual life on how to strike a, a balance, uh, let me just uh, recap on a verse concerning uh, maybe the, the growth of Jesus uh, in the book of Luke 1. Mm. Uh, the Bible says that Jesus grew up, number one, in stature, mm. meaning he was under good nutrition for him to grow in stature to full height. Eh? Physically, you need this physical stamina for whichever mission you have in life. You need the physique. So you need to have your dietary right. Mm. The wellness expert is here. Mm. He can guide you along with the supplement necessary. Number two, he grew in favor with men. Uh, this is a problem. People who are isolated, you know, lone rangers, lo they are alone. Mm. They are wolves who are wandering alone is because they have not grown in the second grace, growing in favor with men. Mm -hmm. We interact so socially, so easily. I didn't have a problem approaching you, mm -hmm. having a chat, and getting contact and moving along. Because uh, I have been nurtured this grace of growing relationship, mm -hmm. growing horizontally, mm -hmm. 
with favor with men. And they also say no man is an island. Yes, so yes. So need. understand how to build social support structure. Yes, I don't know if you, you like church or you don't like church. Chip in once in a while. Mm. There are other support groups. There are charmers. There are events. There are farmers' organization. Have a social life. Grow in favor with men. Number two, he grew in favor mm. with God. Mm. So work on your spiritual orientation. Grow in favor with God. And the bit of it is that uh, he grew in wisdom mm. and in understanding. I want to tell people, even fools grow old. <laughs> you know, people <laughs> think they will be wiser by the virtue they have grown older. Mm. But I want to tell them, if they don't ship a sense of pursuit of understanding and wisdom, they will grow old like fools. Have you ever seen an old man, you are trying to respect them, when they are dancing with a young lady, but you're, you're struggling <laughs> to you're respect struggling. them. Or even they <laughs> yes. can say something and you're like, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, because of your age, yes, I will uh, give you the respect. Yes, but so so mm. they have also to work on the aspect of understanding and wisdom. Because we are summarizing our show, mm. I want to tell us this is the foundation. It's the basic to introduce mm. us, to introduce the program. Mm. Next time, we'll deal with one-on-one. -on -one. Let's mm. build the conversation around real issues. Mm. If you're having a hormonal issue, share, mm. say we need to address this topic of hormone. Mm. If it's sexual dysfunction, if it's your lacking social connection, mm. share per point mm. so we can have mm. has this issue so that individually. we can have a talk that is market driven. Mm. Yes. Because you know, we are winding up, you can just maybe allow me to leave my number. I'll give you a time. I'll mm. give you uh, right before we come to the close of it. Sure. Mm. I'll allow you to do that. Sure, sure. So to close it off, mm. you mentioned supplements mm. and you mentioned about the erectile dysfunction. Yes, yes. So talk about some other supplements that you have because uh, as we wind up, because we mentioned it earlier. Yes. I'm aware mm. that uh, there are ladies who suffer from with the hormonal imbalance and the, because of the bo body image mm. and the, the image they have because they detach from um, maybe the, the feeling of being feminine, mm. even with the men. Even Sometimes even. they feel like I'm not masculine enough, and therefore they will even disconnect from man and um, from And God. next time we'll address this aspect of uh, 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 sexual conversion therapy, the LGBT slogan. Yeah. Yeah. So next yes. time we'll have a very <laughs> thorough debate on it, because we'll address the aspect of masculinity. It we'll is. address it like next time. In, in we our definitely will have yeah. a conversation about that. So yeah. just touch on the supplements that yeah, are uh, there. So, um, we have, uh, okay, I, I work with a company that uh, have supplements that sort so many body issues. And even maybe before I talk about the supplements, I'll just need to say that we are uh, exposed to a lot of toxins. The air we are breathing, uh, if NEMA came here, they will tell us we are unsafe, the air we are breathing in because of the fumes from these machines, from everywhere else. Eh? The water we are drinking, the food we are eating has been, you know, it is genetically modified. Uh, so it, those are toxins. So our body tend to get uh, immune, you know, the immune, it becomes lower because of the toxins. Mm. So we, we have supplements that, you know, boost your immunity, even as you progress in age. Again, as we grow, uh, our cells degenerate. So we are exposed to a lot of diseases. So we are exposed to diabetes, we are exposed to hypertension as we progress in age. Uh, our parents, maybe those who are above 80s, 70s, they are now to the age of getting dementia. We have supplements that work on to the brain cells. For those parents who are already in dementia, they have forgotten their husband, the names of their children. We have supplements that reverse that. And your parent or your, your loved one start recognizing you or start functioning again. Mm -hmm. We have supplements that, okay, control weight. As again, as we control... Uh, I learned the other day that even men develop a hormonal imbalance. And so we also have supplements that balances your hormones. Mm. Because again, as you continue to age, you have hormonal imbalances and you, the body, you know, you get There's tired, so you're sweating, your hot flashes, mm. mood swing. You yeah. know, you even talk to a cat in the house because of the hormonal imbalance. And men yeah. usually don't know that. Eh? They think we are, you know, we are insulting them. But it is because of the hormonal imbalance. imbalance. And those so are we have supplements that, they can that we, we, that can support that and they, you know, they change the whole mm. scenario of their bodies. Monica, so, yes. kindly tell us your number. I'm mm. sorry, the director is telling sorry. me we're running out of <laughs> My time. My number is your 0722 916 446 0722-916-446. Can we also find and you on social you media? And you can find me on social media. I'm on TikTok, 
Monica wa SM. I'm on YouTube, Monica wa SM. I have a Facebook tube, a uh, uh, channel called uh, Wellness with BF Suma. So you can follow me there on Wellness with BF Suma there. I'm a product of those products. I was overweight, I was everything, and I'm and happy. And you're a testimony. Yeah, I'm a testimony. <laughs> I know what I have. Thank you so I much. Have that's, that's very good. Mm. Thank you so much, Monica. Mm. Jared, kindly mm. uh, give us your details as we wind up. Yes, uh, just let me leave uh, the, the number, phone number, uh, 0708 67 I'm on a Samanga because it's 254. Uh, say what you do. I'm afraid to treat you to kiss them. So, so, 0708 67 22 71. 07 08 67 22 71. Show media. Will I get the time to respond? Just WhatsApp. Just call Jared. Just WhatsApp me. Because he may be inactive. But thank you so much for staying tuned. Time is unfortunately out tonight mm. but i hope you've gotten something from this conversation this has been the power talk show and my name is sharon blessing